What drives you crazy the most while watching an inexperienced computer user? My dad learned the expression to fragment the hard drive some time in the 1990s. For years, every time I visited him, he would tell me the computer, used for 90% solitaire. 10% looking at UFO videos on YouTube is slow, and could I defragment the hard drive? Now for the past 5 years his computer has been running Linux, where it makes no sense to defragment the hard drive, but he refuses to understand this. Eventually I wrote a program called the fragment that I put on his desktop, and told him he could do it himself. The program does nothing for 2 to 5 minutes then displays a defragmentation successful dialog box. Placebo effect for the win. Your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. I'm more frustrated by people who think I'm magic or something when it comes to computers. I don't know crap about computers. I just keep trying things until something works. It's not special or amazing. It's just diligence. My mom's PC was messed up so I asked to bring it to my place as she was planning a visit. She brought the monitor only. When I asked her what she thought the large box was she said she thought it was the modem. This is actually impressive. People who simply cannot understand that typing the exact question that you are pestering me with into a search engine will also get you an answer. Heck, odds are that is exactly what I am going to do. Though it's not so much that we're great at using Google, it's that they really have no idea what they should be searching for. I got some kind of error really isn't likely to work. But if that's the problem they come to you with, that's probably what they'll try typing into Google as well. Well it really looked like that pop-up was from Verizon. So I clicked on it and now my computer isn't working right. I still love you, mom. Do your mom a favor and install pop-up blocker or ad blocker on her browser. Try to do it without telling her. When you see them click madly through all the accept screens when installing new software and you absolutely know there are 4 toolbars bloatware included that they've just consented to being added to the PC, and you get the feeling it's going to take you 3 hours later to get them off again. Oh gods, my dad does this, he had 6 bars, a different startup page and search engine, and 3 different registry mechanics disk scanners. All he does is play solitaire and look at his email. At first I didn't get where he got them all from, and I was afraid I'd CP in his browser history. Turns out it just comes from clicking on every suggested update and then agreeing to everything. Seeing that they have 20 updates trying to happen and them saying they have just been closing the prompts for the last 8 months, kills me every time. Get the F out of the way and I'll do your updates. 2 months later. Internet Explorer being called the Internet. Double clicking, everything, writing down my instructions, step, by step, it won't work, it never does work, I over never seen it work, stop it, sit there and learn the process, stop ritualizing it, everything will apparently break the computer, classic symptom of computer anxiety, complaining about how they want the old system, the old system is slower and less secure, turning on caps lock instead of shift. His was foreign to me until I started working with lots of people. Terrible file management. People have several gigabytes worth of files, yet they have no idea where they are on the disk drive. Not even a general idea of where they might be. Failure to backup data. There is literally no exucs for this anymore. You can use email, Dropbox, flash drives, HDDs, CDs, DVDs. If you data is so important. Why are people not backing up fire data, or investing the time to do it? I tend to use metaphors a lot when talking to users. I tell them writing down the step by step instructions is like having to write down directions to your mother's house, but starting with insert key into ignition, rotate 90 until engine is running, the press brake pedal, when really you should already know how to drive before taking a job operating a car. Triple quadruple click that is. Type in google.com, type in youtube.com in google search, or, having 20 plus tabs open and wondering why the computer is performing slower. My sister was complaining about her macbook running slow and had every single program open and running in different windows. The way they stare at the screen, eyes not moving, they've locked onto something and I don't know what it is, they haven't got a clue what they're doing, are about to do, or even want to do. Download Adobe. 
people who use caps lock rather than shift to uppercase single letters. I see it all the time at work and I've given up trying to reason with them. Listening to their lame bot explanations about how their computer is full of viruses, adware, toolbars, and other crap. It's never their fault. They have no idea how it got that way. I guess I have to bring it to the shop and have the guy wipe it and reinstall windows. The way my computer illiterate dad freaks out whenever I touch his computer because I'm sure to give it a virus if I do anything but visit one of his two approved websites, weather.com and foxnews.com btw. I've had people like that in my life too. Funny thing is, you'll be the first person they call when they break their computer and can't blame you. However, if you use their computer for something they don't understand, then you're the first person they blame. Cousin told me that I crashed his dad's computer so bad it broke, when in fact it got to be SOD once and had to be rebooted. FFS. Typing the whole URL when the suggestion is right there in the down bar. Just hit down then enter you freaking simpleton. My mother-in-law thinks she is being hacked. Every week, she thinks being hacked means they will have all the money in her bank account. She does not use online banking. The other day she got the message this page contains both secure and non-secure items on a web page. She immediately turned off her PC and called me asking how to stop the hackers. She's truly terrified of technology. She's also a manager at a telecom giant. That last sentence hit a nerve. Had to reread. Used to be a trainer at a fast food chain and we had interactive training programs on the computer that were mandatory before on the floor training. Because this was fast food we got a lot of kids. Kids that were in school where they have to work on computers quite often. The amount of times that the following would happen was just depressing. Click the forward arrow to continue. The trainee in question would just stare at the computer for a moment. Mouse in hand. Then turn to me and say. What am I supposed to do? Not reading any messages on screen. Like why this no work? Why this not working while repeatedly clicking OK to any messages on screen that clearly explains what they need to do. You don't need to drag the scroll bar. You can just use the mouse. You see the little wheel thing in the middle? Use that. Oh. Okay. You're still dragging. Just use the mouse. It's easier. You know what? I'll be over here. Oh you see that right there. Hang on. Cooks pizza, then proceeds to wash hands in the pizza grease. Anyway, allow me to touch your screen to show you where I'm pointing. Oh, I hate when people leave grease on my mouse or keyboard. It makes me feel murder feelings. There is a woman at work who selects large quantities of text, in Word, by clicking the cursor at the end of the text and dragging the mouse cursor upwards, waiting 30 seconds or more for it to scroll all the way to the top. If she accidentally loses the selection by moving or clicking the mouse, she goes back to the bottom and starts again. I do that. Watching them try to search for anything. Some people have no concept of how to get a desired result out of Google. Also, people who don't search for stuff on Google. It makes me feel weird when they give up and I have to swoop in and change the page from some other weird search engine. Duck duck go for life. How are these answers anything besides typing with only their index fingers? No. By all means, 7WPM is a very effective way to send emails. Hunt and peck software engineer here. I accept all WPM challenges. Clicking something over and over because it won't open or close. You have a slow butt computer and you're just making it worse. When they take about 5 minutes to press the start button and then when you offer help they get crappy and say they can do it themselves. H. T. T. P. Comma comma W. 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 At the start of every website. Especially when they are going to Google search in order to search for YouTube. And include the entire address in the search. One of my friends does this every time and I want to slap him each time. Wait. Forgot the... So delete everything I just typed and begin pecking it out again one key at a time. Of course I'm not typing in the address bar. I'm typing in the malware search engine that my browser redirects to after installing that game from years ago. My dad was furious when he emailed himself shortcuts of the office suite and it did not work. I had to explain what shortcuts do and I still don't think he understood. 
explaining how to take a screen print to a stupid computer user. Where did the picture go? Why do I need to open Word or WordPad? I don't see the print button on my keyboard. Sure just take a cell phone picture of your screen. With the flash on, I can read magic blurry photos, even if you can't. The snipping tool in Windows 7 has made it a lot easier to take screenshots. I do phone support for an antivirus company. My biggest pet peeve is when people use their own terminology for things because they couldn't be bothered to learn the right word. Had a woman call Icons Gems just last week. An antivirus company. You poor bastard. Not reading. So many times I see people break their crap because they won't take the time to read and process. They must think every error message is the exact same or some crap. Idiots. Going into the menus to do basic stuff like save print copy or paste rather than using keyboard shortcuts. Or even the toolbar buttons. Uh, highlight with mouse. Edit. Copy. Scroll down. Click where it goes. Edit. Paste. My boss does this. He has a masters in computer science. Open up Chrome comma type Google into the address bar. Which searches Google for Google. Comma click first link for Google search comma search something. My mom is 50. Not too long ago she was baffled as to why the email on her iPhone was dead. I do not have an iPhone. But I agreed to poke around. So I'm kind of hopelessly looking for clues as to what's up. When she casually mentions I mean I changed my email password online the other day. But that can't be it. Ma. Really? What? Nothing. Woo I saved her iPhone. Worry for me. When people are on Ms. Word and to make a new page they just hit enter a bunch of times until it goes to a new page. This is so annoying because it just makes it so much more difficult if you need to add some more lines paragraphs of text later on. As you then need to delete all those extra blank lines in order to make it look neat again. Just click insert and click page break. It will create a new page on the document. And will compensate for any changes you need to make. Even when I show people how to do it they don't freaking listen. Because apparently more than one click is too much for the average person to handle. It's so frustrating. I'm by no means a computer expert but there are so many things you can do on Word to make your life that much simpler. And you can find most of them just by clicking around for like 10 seconds. And if that fails, use the help option or just freaking google it. It's really not as hard as you make it out to be. Whenever I go home similar dialogue happens. Mom. Why do you have, obviously malware with protection or antivirus in the name? I don't know how, but I got them for free. Can you check the computer? It's been running slow lately. Comma clean up everything and update to maximum. What happened to malware? I was using that. You will for oof oof. Watching a user. Click start. Slowly hunting and peck style type out internet explorer. Attempt to move the mouse but miss click the IE icon. Click start. Slowly hunting and peck style type out Internet Explorer. Attempt to move the mouse but miss click the IE icon. Click start. Slowly hunting and peck style type out Internet Explorer. Finally click Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer loads and a billion toolbars start flashing. Types in the URL bar. Googe and hits enter. Clicks link to google.com in Bing search results. Google loads but a pop-up makes them click the X on Internet Explorer and it closes and they sigh with frustration and click the start button again. When they type in the Google address rather than just using the address bar is the search engine. Infuriating. The other day my boyfriend, his best friend, and his best friend's mom were booking our trip to New Orleans. The mom was doing all the computer work. Why? I don't know, and she kept accidentally highlighting everything on the website. <laughs> Clicking search instead of pressing enter, and using the scroll bar instead of the scroller. I don't know what it is called, on the mouse. <laughs> How they get pee off at me, even though I have nothing to do with it. I get that you're frustrated, but you really don't need to turn to me and start screaming and bitching about the general state of computing. And how people like me are making things too hard. Seriously. Either you asked for my help. Or I'm literally just standing in the same room with you minding my own business. I didn't single handedly create the computer revolution. I don't really want to hear you be about it. 
When people don't enter keywords in a search engine, they just write their entire problem. My computer started freezing up after I went on vacation with my daughter-in-law's family. What's the problem? Co-worker at my job is terrible with computers. It took him 3 months to learn how to properly maneuver a mouse. No joke, he would tap the side of the mouse to slowly move it. I know we should respect our elders. I don't think 55 is too old to learn the very basics of using a computer. Like opening a window, closing a window, typing in a website. He's more competent now. Not by much however. When someone asks you for help with writing a new email. Goes to login. Looks at you with a blank stare. Then asks you what their password is. If you're under the age of 40 in America and can use a computer, you do not belong in the workforce. Plain and simple. That being said, I had this guy that is closer to retirement age at a former job. He didn't like the resolution on his monitor, so I showed him how. He asked again, I gave him directions. He yelled at me for saying I wasn't helpful. I did the same with wireless, and he would page me incessantly. So much so that HR on their own had a talk with him about leaving me alone. He even forbade me from working on his laptop after hours because he thought I would go through his stuff and during business hours he didn't want me working on it unless he was there. Bit him in the end because I put my two weeks in, and I had to move everyone to a new system before I left, and he refused to let me look at it during business hours and at that point, I had a lot more to do. So I decided screw him and told him I didn't have the time to schedule after hours support with him and if he was going to get converted before I left, he had to let me use his laptop during the day and without him present. I quit that job 8 months ago and that butthole was probably the worst user I ever encountered. I even refer to him as butthole. Now I hear he's sick and has to get some surgery but can't because of an unrelated illness. My parents aren't too bad with computers all things considered, with two exceptions. My mom uses Internet Explorer and my dad uses AOL Online. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.